is Austin and welcome to your 10th Roblox with scripting tutorial. Tonight I'm going to go over scope. Uh, I'll get to the explanation of what scope is just in a minute, but first I wanted to apologize for not uploading a video in a little over a week now, I think it is. I've just been really busy in real life and uh, probably upload my next video sometime in the next few days. Hope I can get to that. Uh, this tutorial is probably going to be pretty short because uh, scope isn't, it's, a, it's not that hard to understand, it's just one of those things you need to know, like a rule or something, although it's not quite a rule. Uh, I'll start with explaining it now. Um, so what scope is, you can think of that as how you access variables where variables are declared. Uh, keyword local plays a big part in scope so I'll give you an example so if we just set the variable a to 2 if we just say a equals 2 and we have a function here and a function there then both of these functions can use the variable called a but um, if we said local a equals 2, then both of these could still use the variable a correctly because a is in their scope. That is to say, it's not inside a function, an if statement, a loop, all of which create a new scope. <coughs> so, say we tried to put local a equals 2 here and uh, I didn't name the functions and mm, we put a local a equals 3 here I'll try to print a I'll try to print a mm, okay <clears throat> now let's run that see what we get Why did that not work? Okay, I'm stupid. I didn't call the functions. Oh. <clears throat> it'll print 2 and it'll print 3. So, I'll take out this A here and see what we get. 2 and nil. That's weird because we tried to print A printed this one, but we already defined A here. It only printed one of them. It printed the other as nil. <coughs> so why did the script do that? That's because we made this func this variable local to this function. This block of code. That is the scope of the variable A. So let's remove the local from this and see what happens now. It'll print 2 and 2 because we printed A from here and printed A from here. So by removing the keyword local from this variable, we just made the that variable global for this whole script to use, meaning no matter how many if statements, loops, or functions we had, we could use A from anywhere. That goes for any other kind of variable, an object, a string, whatever. Um, say we had a equals to print a then uh, yeah, I'll just leave that there uh, if if a equals 2 then yeah I'm just using this as an example no I'll put b equals 3 so Okay, now it shouldn't mess up. <coughs> so, then if b equals 3, then local a equals. Mm, no, I'll make this local, then print a. It'll now print 2, 2, and nil. Okay, well, since 
this a is local to the whole function because we defined it in the scope of the function so I'm just gonna highlight that pretend it's not there for a second and well yeah I'm sure you can see what I mean it's just local to the whole function now since we didn't define it inside this other if statement so let's see what we got if we define it inside this if statement it'll print nil to and nil this is the first time we tried to print a that printed nil this printed two and this printed nil it's because local a is local to this block of code not the whole function so that's pretty much what scope is if you try to access a variable outside of its scope then you'll either have to make that variable global or define it again that's pretty much how scope works there is also something called global variables which is not the same as this I use that by saying g equals blah 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 uh, yeah I'm pretty sure that's actually for tables setting tables to a variable <clears throat> so that's irrelevant here I suppose uh, if you have questions post in comments if I didn't explain it well enough just let me know in comments uh, my next video is going to be on something called yield functions and I might upload that I mean I might make that record that right away I don't know I'll decide on that so again sorry for the short video I thought I explained this well enough it's simple and it's just one of those things that you should remember in coding I suppose because say you could debug something easily if this is the problem and you would know your rules of scope and you could debug that easily so sorry for the short video I hope to get back in the loop of things really soon uh, subscribe if you want like the video comment whatever thanks for watching guys till next time